welcome to another video. Today, we are venturing out once again to get a weird thing that we found on the internet. If it's terrible, we're gonna take the brunt of it. If it's good, well, that's then great. Then we get the benefits of it. Benefits, that's the word I was looking for. So, there's this place down in Orange County called Drilled, Drill D, <laughs> Drill Apostrophe D. Drilled. It's, so I guess it's an ice cream place, but it sells this flaming hot Cheeto ice cream. I suspect there's other flavors there, but that is the golden goose that we're gonna be going down and getting today. Oh yeah. A bit of a trek for a cone of ice cream that might taste crazy. I'm down for anything Flaming Hot Cheeto related ever. We've previously tried the Flaming Hot Cheeto pizza. Yeah. Which was decent, but like not crunchy. But I feel like if this is like a spicy ice cream with a garnish of a few Flamin' Hots, I am so down. That could be very interesting. A spicy ice cream, a little bit of a different concept, but Flaming Hot Cheetos never really have hurt anyone before. I don't know about never have hurt anyone before. That's I feel like you might, you know, like don't put it in your eye. Okay, so with no further do, let's jump in the car, make the trek to this place, and try this out. Whatever this is. That's that's us going. That's like the This is the cyclone that get will it going. transition us into the car. Yeah, we're gonna do like one of those like spinny screen things. She moves the body like a cyclone. Alright, so we are on the road. Yes. We're heading down to Orange County right now. We haven't really left, we just got coffee. And we just got coffee. Looks like there's like a little bit of traffic, so it's gonna take us like an hour. So we're gonna amuse ourselves in the car. We've got a couple of vlogging cameras that just harass you with. So this place was very far away. It was a pretty long drive. Tyler resorted to like singing, or was it rapping? <laughs> it was impromptu shaggy, we'll put it that way. I am a huge fan of Flaming Hot Cheetos. I'm a Flaming Hot Cheetos lover. One might even say like an addict. My mom actually had to like wean me off of them in seventh grade because she got really freaked out by the red dye 40. But I used to eat like a medium bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos and drink an orange Gina. An orange Gina, why I said that wrong. An orange Gina, after school, every day in seventh grade. That sounds amazing. It's the perfect snack. I saw recently in one of those like weird food combination videos that Cheetos in milk, like as like cereal is like really good. So what? I, I, that's what I saw. Because it's like, it's like cheese on milk. So it's like dairy on dairy. It's like not that awkward. So like, I feel like maybe this will be channeling that a little bit. Yeah. So I'm pretty optimistic about the flavor of this. You know what? I feel like it's gonna be kind of like those Mexican candies that are like mango and chili paste together. Oh, you know like I mean? spicy sweet. Spicy and sweet. Okay. And then we were there. Yes. All right, it's coming up on the right. That's a Union Bank. Yeah. All right, I think it's in this strip mall. Oh, there it is. Oh, you see it? But I feel like for being in sort of a random strip mall, the ice cream place does have kind of an X-rated name. NC-17 at least. Yeah. Why is it called Drilled for Ice Cream Place? Because ice cream is a sexual experience. It's like you go on a date here, you're gonna get drilled. Ew. That's, you started it. <gasps> Tyler. What? I see a neon sign. It's, it's the calling card of an insta-famous snack. Damn it, I need a neon sign. We need to get neon signs. I have to pee. I have to pee really badly. It's a right. long drive. <laughs> Walking into the store, you were just kind of like washed over with like lots of pink and lots of like cereal boxes. All right, so here's the neon sign. It says, I just got grilled. Are you gonna stand underneath it? Inappropriate. Sex jokes aside, after doing a little bit of research, we found out the reason why they're called drilled is because they have like this high impact, high speed drill that mixes up ingredients with the ice cream to like make like one completely fused soft serve ice cream flavor. So on the menu, they have a decent amount of sort of like interesting ice cream combinations. Obviously the Flaming Hot Cheeto ice cream that we had gone there to get, yes. but also like a Lay's potato chip one, and also another one that caught our eye, which was like an avocado mixture. So we ordered two of the hot as hells, and after a decent amount of like commotion in the back, which we then realized was the drilling, yeah. they arrived. Oh, it's beautiful. They were more pink than I thought they would be, and there also weren't like actual Flaming Hot Cheetos sticking out of them. Yeah. So I feel like they could almost be mistaken for like a strawberry ice cream. Uh, here is our inaugural bite. I'm gonna go right to the top. Ready? So upon first taste, as someone who like is not that sensitive to spice, I was pretty taken aback by how spicy I found it. The Cheeto flavor like hits you right away. Oh, it's very spicy. It kind of like delivers the spice on the ice cream in like a liquid form, like into the back of your throat. You'd think that like eating hot Cheetos with milk would actually like cancel out the spice, but you say it's amplifying it? Yes. Are you okay? Tyler, are you all right? That said, I found it like extremely delicious. All right, I gotta try mine. Yeah, let's do it. 
So by its appearance, it didn't overtly look like a flaming hot Cheeto flavored thing, but the flavor of it was a different story altogether. Oh my God, that's so good. It's retained a little bit of its crunch. Yeah. Like there's a little crunch left to it. It did taste sort of like Flaming Hot Cheetos, which was cool, but it almost tasted like if you ate Flaming Hot Cheetos as cereal. It tastes like if you put cayenne pepper on a bowl of Lucky Charms. Absolutely. That's it. I personally didn't think it was that spicy, but there is something about just a little bit of spice that makes you want like a little bit of milk. So it's almost like a circle where you just keep eating it because you're like, oh, it's a little spicy. Let me have a little ice cream. Oh, it's a little spicy. Let me have a little more ice cream. Oh, it's a little spicy. Let me have some more ice cream. It's a circle of spice. It's the I do feel like later on, I'm gonna feel like doubly bad where it's like, I eat ice cream and flaming hot Cheetos. But right now I feel good. I can sense that coming, yeah. yeah. So we figured that while we were in Orange County, we might as well try out some of their other strange ice cream combinations. So we went for the avocado combo. Which was like avocado drilled slash blended into vanilla ice cream with then frosted flakes and condensed milk. All right, so this is the fresh avo. Yeah. I can see like a tint of green in there. Yeah. So it must be like avocado vanilla ice cream. Yeah. I bet you this one's gonna taste like cereal too. But this one makes more sense because it's actually cereal. But they got that giant wall of cereal right behind you. When it arrived, it didn't look super strange. Like no. it looked pretty normal, almost like a pale pistachio ice cream with some frosted flakes on top. But the taste was interesting. I can almost smell the avocado from over here. It's very avocado-y. I think the avocado probably helps it feel a little bit more like actual food versus just like a sugar bar. Yeah, let me try it. You try it. So I thought I was like really not gonna like it off the bat, and I really liked it. That's awesome. Oh, you like that? Oh yeah. I kind of got like guacamole vibes from it, where like the ice cream was the guacamole, and then like the corn flakes were like the corn chips. Where it's like you got the crunch, and you have a little bit of that avocado twinge. I like it. So based off of our like dessert liking profiles, I feel like I would be the one pegged as the one who would like avocado ice cream. Yeah. But I didn't love like all of the toppings together. Yeah, I just thought that the avocado was a little out of place. Like when I bit into it, I was like, hmm. But then Tyler found me a bite that was just avocado and vanilla ice cream. It's a good bite. And I liked that more. See, I like that better than with the frosted flakes and the condensed milk because it's more like appreciate the avocado for what it is versus like, there's avocado in here. Okay, so that was a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. I was a little bit nervous about the Flaming Hot Cheetos ice cream. Mm. And then I was even like a little bit more nervous about the avocado ice cream. And I really, really liked both. Overall, one of the things I really liked about this place is that you like make a new soft serve flavor. I love soft serve, but I feel like sometimes it has like a more limited range and like hard serve ice cream. I loved the Flaming Hot Cheeto ice cream. There was a decent amount of crunch. Like the Flaming Hot Cheetos didn't get soggy, which I feel like is the fatal flaw of the other like Flaming Hot Cheetos collabs. I think that the flavor of the hot as hell was more successful for me versus the avocado one, but I will definitely give Drilled some props for creativity. Like they were trying a lot of stuff as you could see by their menu wall. And there were a couple of like empty slots on their menu. So it seems like they're gonna like come out with some new stuff. So when we upload this video, we're gonna also open a room on Nextbeat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own homemade Flaming Hot Cheeto recipes. Not necessarily ice cream, because no. we also don't know how to make ice cream. No. But we're gonna take on another Flaming Hot Cheeto recipe. Yeah, it's gonna be Flaming Hot Cheeto Fried Chicken. So click that link down below to jump over to that room and check it out. Yes, and even if this video didn't just go up, you can still click that link down below and watch the room that we made about this Flaming Hot Cheeto yeah. recipe stuff. It'd be like a bonus vlog. Exactly, the room doesn't go away, it stays there, so you can always watch it. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that video, make sure to smash or gently tap that like button. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you smash or gently tap that subscribe button. And if you've already hit that subscribe button, you can smash or gently tap that bell icon to be notified every time that we post. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys the next, next time. time. Yeah, that's my line. No, it's my line. <laughs> oh, you're right, I did steal it from you. <laughs>